Welcome back to another college football video in which today we'll be doing the week 3 matchup between the two remaining schools of the Pac-12, thus creating the Pac-2 next year. It'll be interesting to see how that will all unfold next year, but these two teams have a huge chip on their shoulder as this season for football, they are playing for their future in conference realignment. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about all this? Who do you guys think will win this game? And what do you guys think the score will be? We got on second and two, Cam Ward having some pressure in his face, but he gets it out to Dijon Stribling for a 13 yard reception right there. And a first down for Washington as they near midfield. And on third and two, Cam Ward gets the back and passes it to Victor who just gets enough for a two yard reception and the first down as now they enter into Oregon State territory. I'm surprised that a power five conference like the Pac-12 ended as quickly as it did. Although we did see the writing on the wall once USC and UCLA left for the Big Ten, I'm surprised they weren't able to supplement those two teams in the short term to keep the conference alive but cam ward fumbles the ball right there and it, while it is picked up by the wazoo lineman it is now fourth and 24 at their own 42 which will force them to have to punt the ball back to dj uyagalale and the oregon state offense and on second and 10 dj uyagalale has time in the pocket and hits his wide receiver silas bolden for 11 yard reception and a first down and right on the next play DJ Uyagalale has time in the pocket once again and gets it to his receiver Cooper Jensen for a 15 yard reception and a first down let me know in the comments below do you guys think DJ Uyagalale will be an NFL quarterback and if so what round do you think he'll be drafted and will he be a career backup or do you think he'll ever get to start let me know. It is now a third and one for the Oregon State offense, and they give it out to their running back, Damian Martinez, who gets five yards and a first down as they now are at the 38 yard line of the Cougars. It is now first and 10 for DJ Uyagalale. He has a lot of time in the pocket and easily gets it to his receiver, Anthony Gould, for a 23 yard reception, making it a first and goal for the Oregon State offense inside the five right around the two yard line what a great connection on offense right there and the oregon state offense is trying to use as much time as possible and damian martinez makes a three yard run touchdown right there with 222 remaining in the second quarter and that was a long drive capped off with seven points for oregon state and on 2nd and 12, Cam Ward and the Washington State Cougars are looking to answer back to the Oregon State touchdown. And right there, he gets it out to his receiver, Renard Bell, for a 14-yard gain, as they are now at their own 37. And once again, on 2nd and 7, Cam Ward has time in the pocket and gets it out to his receiver, Donovan Ollie, real quick for an 8-yard reception and a first down. And the Washington State Cougars are trying to get their offense moving as fast as possible as there is only a minute 36 left in the second quarter. And on first and 10, Cam Ward has a clean pocket and gets it out to his receiver, Ollie, for that huge gain. And with that 33-yard reception, it is now first and goal at the 9 for the Washington State offense. It is now third and goal for Washington State and Ward has time in the pocket and had an open receiver but he throws the pass which makes the receiver go out of bounds at the five and it looks like the Washington State Cougars are going to have to settle for a field goal and the three points. That was a missed opportunity by Cam Ward and the Wazoo offense right there. DJ Uyagalale is trying to get his offense moving down the field and he throws it into triple coverage and makes it a fourth and ten for the Oregon State Beavers. And now they have to punt it back to Washington State with 45 seconds remaining in the half 
and the Cougars have one timeout. Cam Ward is moving his offense quickly and on first and 10 he has some time in the pocket and completes it to his receiver Donovan Ollie for an 18 yard reception and that takes him into the red zone inside the 20 with 15 seconds remaining and they also have one timeout so that is a great great drive cooking up by the Cougars but they caught a pass inbounds and the clock is running and rather than use the timeout and settle for a field goal they decided to go for it and it does not pay off as they do not get into the end zone or score a field goal and at halftime Oregon State is leading Wazoo 7-3 and on second and 10 DJ Uyagalale gets the ball off quickly and sends it to Zachary Card for a 10 yard reception and a first down and with Oregon State getting the ball to begin the half, they are trying to capitalize and at least score a field goal to have to force the Washington State offense to have to score a touchdown. And Uyagale has time in the pocket and has Bolden cutting on the slant. And with that, he gains 42 yards on that reception and gets within the 25-yard line of the Cougars. And that was a great throw by DJ Uyagalele as he had a lot of pressure coming in. And on second and 10, Uyagalele has time in the pocket and hits his receiver Irish on that slant route once again. And they gain 11 yards and a first down. And it looks like the Oregon State offense is really making it hard for the Wazoo defense on those slant routes. On 2nd and 10, DJ Uyagalele has time in the pocket and once again hits Josiah Irish for 11-yard touchdown right there. And once again, it came off a slant route. And if it's not broke, don't fix it. And that's what the Oregon State offense will continue to rely upon against this defense. And on 2nd and 3, Cam Ward gives it to their running back Watson who finds some space on the right side and side on the outside. And with that, he gets a 22-yard run and a first down. Great job blocking right there and a great run by the running back. It is now 3rd and 5 for the Washington State offense and Ward has some pressure in his face but gets it to his receiver Farrell. And now Washington State has over 160 yards and that was a great catch by Farrell right there and a great pass by Ward as he got tackled right after and great run after catch and they are now first and goal inside the 10. And on second and goal Ward has a man in motion going to the left but Ward scrambles to his right and takes it for a 6 yard rush. And they are now within the two yard line, maybe at the one yard line. And with three minutes remaining, they have to get it into the end zone to cut down this 11 point lead that the Oregon State Beavers have on them. And Washington State gets stopped on third down, but on fourth down, they give it to their fullback, Andre Dollar, for a two yard touchdown run. And with that score, it is now a five point game. And I am curious to see if they will go for two. Let's see what the coach will dial up here. And they sure will. And they are trying to cut it into a three-point deficit. And let's see what Cam Ward and the offense can do right here. And he gets the ball and has some pressure coming at him and gets sacked. And just like that, they cannot convert on the two-point conversion and are behind by five points with 2.30 remaining in the fourth quarter. DJ Uyakalele just has to get a few more first downs with his offense and right there we had Damian Martinez break a tackle and rush for 15 yards and Washington State only has one timeout with 2.11 remaining so they got to get a stop here and even if they do get a stop that doesn't leave much time for the Wazoo offense to try and score a touchdown to take the lead. And on first down, DJ Uyagalele and the offense decide to throw it and they complete it to Card for the 11 yard reception and a first down. This forces Washington State to have to use their last timeout and with 2.06 remaining, this 
will be where the Oregon State offense can run out the clock. Let's see what they're going to do right here. And here on third and three, looks like they will give it to their running back, Martinez, and he gains five yards and the first down. And with 39 seconds remaining in the game, it looks like the Oregon State Beavers can look to use the victory formation and run out the clock and get a victory. And the clock will strike zero, and the Oregon State Beavers defeat the Washington State Cougars 14 to 9. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game and by what score in real life and this shall be a super exciting game to watch. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this type of content because it really helps the channel out and we'll be covering NCAA football all season long. Appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.